Hey, Dinosaur fans, once again, it is me, the Harmizamani G. Now that I've finished reviewing Jurassic World Dominion, it is now time to do what we always do when film series such as this come to a conclusion, perhaps. It is now we have to rank the six films in the Jurassic Park film series. Yay! <laughs> now, it took me a little bit of a hard time trying to rank these films in order because they're they're all pretty good. Some are better than others. Some are they're, they're, some are not so good. None of these films in the series are bad films. It's just that some are better than others. And like I said, even though if I ranked a film last in a series, it's not because it's just a bad film. It's just that in the overall scheme of things, scheme of things, while this is a good film overrise, as far as the series is concerned, there are films, better films, better in the film series. It's just that, hey, look, someone's got to be last. So, Obviously, coming in at number six will be Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, it's just like with Jurassic World of the Lost, the Lost World Jurassic Park. When you have a film such as uh, Jurassic World was, and you come up with Jurassic Kingdom, and it's a bit of a letdown. We expected a lot of little bit more. Uh, when it comes to the second film of a film series. And unfortunately, Fallen Kingdom didn't live up to the hype that everyone expected to be. Don't get me wrong, it's still a decent film. And you do have, you know, you still have Chris Pratt, you have Bryce Dallas Howard. They're pretty good in here. But mainly because of the storyline, the uninteresting villain, and what happens at the end of the film. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It sort of did the film in. So coming in at number six will be Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Coming in at number five will be The Lost World Jurassic Park. Now, of course, we weren't expecting the sequel to Jurassic World to live up to the hype. Yet, we still got some nice-looking dinosaurs. We only have Jeff Goombloon in this one, but I did like Julianne Moore's character in this film. Uh, the best character in The Lost World, I believe is if I pronounce his name right, Pete Posterwaite. I think I probably messed up his name as Roland. I think he is the best character in the film. He was a no-nonsense hunter. He didn't want to pull up anybody, anybody's BS. <laughs> BS. Because he knew what he was doing right there. He just wanted to hunt a T-Rex. And his motivations are quite clear. I mean, he has a great speech that he talks to with uh, Vince Vaughn's character when he goes and tells him that uh, on this island lives the second greatest predator that he ever lived. It's only proper that the number one's greatest predator take him down and he has a great motivation so i like that in this character he's the only good thing about uh the lost world so coming in at number five is the lost world jurassic park coming in at number four will be jurassic world dominion and like i said before uh, my review which i'll leave a card up there if you haven't seen my review for Jurassic world dominion i'll leave a card up there uh, if the film is better than fallen kingdom it does make up for some of the problems that the uh, the Fallen Kingdom have, uh, and again, but still, it has the same things that we've seen before in all the other films in this franchise. And unfortunately, that's the problem with this film. Well, we do have some great set pieces, and we do get some nice action. Again, like I said before in my review, it's nice seeing all the legacy characters from uh, Sam Sam Neil. Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum, all their characters are back. We get some good interaction between them along with uh, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's character. But eh, it's something's missing. It's just something missing. But it's better than Fallen Kingdom. That's why I have it ranked. That's why I have it ranked number four on my list. Coming in at number three will be Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sam Neill returns this time as Dr. Uh, Dr. Grant. He gets tricked into going into because they think he is on Isa Numblar, but <laughs> this is Isa Sornar. So he's never been onto this island. So they got confused because their son is there. And unfortunately, they get trapped there. And we get a lot of velociraptors here. You can never really go wrong with velociraptors here. And I think that's what makes this film great is because of the velociraptors that, uh, that are very highly intelligent. Uh, Dr. Grant actually makes a uh, speech about if it wasn't for the great cataclysm that took out the dinosaurs, he believes that Velociraptors would have been the most dominant species on this planet, being how fast that they were they were growing in intelligent wise. There's no telling how they would have evolved if it wasn't for the meter that took out all the dinosaurs. So I like that aspect of the film. 
I, I love uh, Tion 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 Leon and William Macy's characters. Like their characters a lot. I mean, I like Billy's character. He was uh, Dr. Grant's uh, right-hand man. And he does something in the film. He steals the raptor's eggs, and Dr. Grant gets pissed off. But we really come to understand that he wants to be the astronaut. This is the first time he gets a chance to do something other than picking up bones. But uh, coming in at number three is Jurassic Park 3. Coming in at number two is Jurassic World. Yes. Yeah, released in 2015. I had to get my years right. <laughs> released in 2015. Uh, obviously, we didn't have any other dinosaur films that come out since um, Jurassic Park 3 came out. They finally decided to create this new trilogy, starting with Jurassic World, where we actually see the uh, uh, the idea of John Hammond's uh, idea of showing prehistoric monsters in an amusement park work to perfection, but of course we know it wasn't going to last. <laughs> I, I love the inclusion of the Indominus Rex. I love Vincent De, uh, Vincent Del Toro's character, Vic, uh, Victor, uh, the uh, military guy that wants to take the Velociraptors once again as military weapons. Uh, obviously, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard are pretty good in this role right here. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good film. It was a good callback and a great way to start this new Jurassic World trilogy. So coming in at number two is Jurassic World. And of course, by no means, everyone knows, I'm pretty sure this is number one on everyone's list, the original Jurassic Park. What a fantastic film. Um, you never really thought how can you display dinosaurs in film and make them look believable without looking fake. And you really have to give Steven Spielberg and Stan Winston's credit, especially Stan Winston and how he used computer uh, CGI and animatronics to make the dinosaurs look real and authentic. Uh, like I said before in my review of Jurassic World Dominion, that scene where um, we see Dr. Grant and Ellie set a look at the brontosaurus trying to eat the tree and how well that scene looks blended together between them looking at the dinosaur and how fan fantastic that scene is. And then you see uh, Richard Attenborough say that great line, welcome to Jurassic Park, and you have John Williams' incredible score playing in the background. That scene sets the move for everything what you expect in the movie. And you can't you really have to give them credit. They did a fantastic job. So my number one film in the franchise is the original Jurassic World. So there you have it. That is my ranking of the Jurassic uh, Jurassic Park film series. Uh, it's an incredible film series. Like I said, uh, none of the films in this uh, series are bad. They're not bad movies. Obviously, some are better than others, but I really did enjoy this series. I'm pretty sure... Uh, once all six films become available on Blu-ray and uh, Blu-ray or 4K, I'll definitely get this, uh, include this in my package because I want to have all six films. And um, yeah, I really did enjoy the series. Like I said, you know, some films are better than others, but I really do enjoy the entire film series. So there you have it. That is my video for the day, guys. So if you did enjoy it, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share because it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're new here, please hit that subscriber button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime when I put a new video such as this one. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G, and always remember that horror rules. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.